this is the machine that you have the interest in, and I don't have the experience or the ability to test run this. So I'm sorry about that, but that's kind of where we are. Uh, there's a micro motion uh, meter in here to meter the liquid into the drum. You can fill two drums at the same time. If you want to wave fill, you're going to have to have a scale sitting out here on the floor. Have your drum sitting here, and then you'll have a, a fill spout that goes down in the drum. Uh, this is a counterweight here to help you raise and lower your, your lance that goes down in the drum. Going two of these. And these articulate. You can, you can move them around. You could have a whole row of them if you wanted on a conveyor or whatever, but they move around. Uh, come down here close, Sophie. Got my granddaughter video on this. We've never done a YouTube before, but we'll try. This thing right here is the valve and the fill nozzle. You see it has a handle on it that your operator will hold. This hooks into here, uh, and this counterweights it so that uh, there's no weight on, on the person doing the filling. Here's your obviously your tube for filling. This is the lance right here that goes down in the drum, this piece here, and this is a valve, and this valve is, is uh, actuated to shut off the flow once you hit the weight that you want. So that's what that is. Uh, and there's two of these. There's this one, and then there's another one sitting here that's over here. Here's, here's your other uh, similar piece of equipment. And then you have a 10 horse, I think it's 10 horsepower pump right here, the stainless food grade. This came out of a food plant. This was filling drums of vanilla, believe it or not, liquid vanilla. Uh, but anyway, that's a centrifugal pump right there. Uh, this is your micromotion meter. Uh, this is a remote flow transmitter. This will transmit that flow to, to the controls to help uh, it function. This, is, this thing here, believe it or not, is a big counterweight. If, if you look at this, the connection goes all the way up here and ties into a shaft up on top to keep this thing counterweighted. And then it's got a very robust post here with, with gussets that bolts to a stand to make it really solid. It's all stainless, even this part is stainless, even though it's not in contact with your product. Now, and there's two, there's two of these, they call these ballasts, and you may be aware of them. There's one here and there's one over there. So you can fill two drums at the same time if you have two operators. It's a centrifugal pump, so you can deadhead that pump. So, so if you want to walk around this way, we'll try to get over to the control panel. Our lighting could be better in here, but hopefully you can see this control panel. Uh, it's made, this whole thing was built by a scale company here in Greensboro, and here's the name of the company and their phone number. Uh, machine number, it's called a Net Way Filler. And it, uh, we bought it from a company called Mother Murphy's Laboratories. Mother Murphy's, you can Google them. They got a website, but they're a big manufacturer of vanilla extracts. Uh, here's an Allen Bradley little panel view 300 to control the thing. Uh, I think this button is broken off. We can probably get a replacement button for you here. Main power, emergency light. And we'll ignore that phone call for right now but we'll open this up. There's a PLC in here. Okay, so in the PLC, here's the back of the Allen Bradley uh, controller. It was on the front. We'll try to get better light in here. It's got a, uh, it's got an Allen Bradley MicroLogic 1200 little PLC right here. And again, I'm not that familiar with a lot of electrical, so I don't know that much about it, but uh, this is some of your compressed air solenoid valves bank here. Supply A, nozzle A, supply B, nozzle B. That's, that's the solenoids that uh, kick the uh, valves off for the flow going into the drum. And uh, the rest of it is internal wiring that I don't know a whole lot about. But I would imagine, I can't guarantee, but we might be able to get a wiring diagram from the manufacturer. I'll certainly try. I can't say we will, but I'll try. But this is a stainless steel control panel. It's a NEMA 4 gasket, so it's a watertight type of thing, so you could wash it down 
if needed, and you won't hurt the electricals. And uh, this this entire unit is mounted on a pallet that's roughly four foot by four foot. And I'd say the overall height, I can reach eight feet, so it's about eight and a half feet tall. So uh, we probably could get it uh, transported in a standard LTL box trailer. So that's it. Uh, if you have the interest, uh, go back through bid on equipment, and uh, we'll get you moving on it. If you have any other questions, give us a call. Thank you for your help.